Okay, so you come to the video where you want to build an aircraft that want that's able a hovercraft that will be able to move and uh, you are able to drive in. So first, you need to get a uh, four or constant blocks, or you could just do ship duplicate. Uh, uh, actually, five. So these two, there will be your um, propellers, uh, I mean, for your steering and your thrust. Thrust as in, like, make your ship move, hovercraft move forward. These three will be your main thing, constants, for the formula that I'm about to show in a minute. So bear with me uh, while I find it. Okay, so this here. This is the formula for, I don't mean to press that, this is the formula for um, the hovering. The basics, basically the hover is meant, the thruster on the hover block is meant, ah, the thruster on the hovercraft is meant to act as a spring. And this makes the spring perfect, perfectly stable. So, you get these three uh, constants. For the force, you will need to do 10,000. For the height, you can choose either. I will choose 10 for the height, 5 for the height. And for dampening, I will choose 300. I don't know what dampening does, but I do not know what force does. So, then you get f uh, 2 ooh, uh, subtraction and uh, multiplication blocks. Which I will do that there. Okay, so uh, you have to follow the equation first in order of brackets. So, oh wait, <laughs> uh, okay. Wait, anyway, first let me make the aircraft. I forgot on that part. So, if you're just starting out from the video, I mean, it's if, if you're just starting out. Uh, from the game and you really want to make an aircraft then just keep watching so make a platform for, of sorts for your aircraft um, you could slap this on a car if you want uh, it won't matter oops my split key so this will be an air gun for your hovercraft and then you need to get a thruster which is there thruster has to be aiming downwards, and that is determined by the conical flat and uh, the conical side going downwards. Uh, is that? And then you will need your sensor indicators, speed, and distance. Speed has to face up, and distance has to face down. So I will give me a second. Resize this over there, and no, I'm not gonna drag that there. And resize this. You can choose not to resize it all. I just prefer this way. It's a lot more easier to handle. Uh, I have OCD, so I just like this perfect. And then have this downwards. This is the distance, and this is speed. Yeah, speed, distance. You want to set your distance to thirty, which has been recommend, uh, which I recommend. So, <sighs> logic tool. You can press find this by pressing eight on your keyboard. For the distance, you would need to do take away, and for the height, do that, and both take away. The and for the speed, you would need to do times the dampener. I'll reverse this. Hold on. There. Yeah. I just put it this way for it's easier to remember the formula. So after that, you would need to t uh what 
the outcome of this with the the, the heights the height outcome you need to do times the force and then you put the force in the takeaway box on the left and the output value of the dampener and speed on the left alright and the outcome output goes into the thruster input this allows it for the thruster to become hover and then you would need to copy or well duplicate these so you don't need to duplicate the constants because these are constant they never change but for these you need to need to put on each specific engine so I will do just that so duplicate I accidentally press control duplicate I'll switch this to studs why did I do that duplicate and duplicate there so you have all these linked I am thinking yeah you have all them all of those linked I will save this and your build should be able to hover yep <laughs> it hovers and you know, push down your build can also go on walls if I push it off the edge yep it's going walls so you load your save that has a hover and now what you want to do is change these constants this will be our turning speed and this will be our forward speed so you would get your seat which is on control seat vehicle seat and you would want to place that on the platform and you need to get thrusters I forgot okay so thrusters number force and you need to do two of the turning thrusters that's why I prefer two you can just always have it to one it's your choice and I will rotate that so it's turning that way so and I forgot about the logic math you need two multiplications uh, blocks so do that so what you want to do logic speed goes there seat attaches to this this will become your forward thruster and backwards thruster and doing this because the values turn into a plus and minus so this thruster will be able to forwards and backwards and then your turning it goes on your steer and you'll connect these to your turning thrusters and this uh, will be at the it I believe save first for testing and load so your ship will be able to do this controls might be inverted uh, so I will fix that so load again reset because I can't fly out and you will need to rotate these so like that save again you can never be too sure you have to save because your build does not load back when you unload and this should be your hovercraft you can change up the settings if you want and that's the end of the tutorial good, good day